Hi everyone, Magician Paul Gertner here. I'm the magician you might have seen on Pen & Teller Fool Us, actually fooled him twice, and I wanted to come to your birthday party, but, but, the problem is, I've got the cake here, and you are there. So, before we blow out the candles, I brought with me a special trick for the birthday kid. Where's the birthday kid? Where? Oh, there you are. Okay, come, come on, stand over in front of the camera. Okay, like right in front of the TV or the computer or whatever you're watching this on. Okay, and I've got a special trick just for you. Okay, oh, there you are. Okay, oh, well, you are getting pretty big. No wonder you're having a birthday. Um, now, what I have is a deck of marked cards, and this is one of the tricks I did on TV, on Penn and Teller Fullest. Now, I know you'd much, much rather have me at your birthday party or all of your friends at your birthday party, but uh, right now we can't do that. We have to stay at home and hang out and have a smaller party and keep washing our hands and do all that stuff. But right now, I'm gonna show you a trick that I think you'll like. It's done with a deck of marked cards. And if you take a close look, you can see they have little marks on the edge of the deck. Can you see them? It's like a, it's like a barcode. There's little information there, but they're all mixed up. And notice they're all mixed up. Red and black, hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades. Okay, now as I drop the cards, I want you to just say stop. Since it's your birthday, you get to say stop. Okay, let's practice. Okay, so as I drop them, say stop. Stop. Very good, very good. Now, I'll do it this time, and this time when you say stop, I'm going to stop wherever you tell me, okay? So just say stop. Go ahead, do it again. Right there, okay, okay. Now, look at the card. Remember the name and the number, and I'm going to place your card back in the deck, and I'm going to lose it in the deck with a special happy birthday shuffle, just for you. Now, here, I'll divide the deck exactly in half. Look, there are 26, 26 I can actually tell by the weight. And then if I give the cards another little precision shuffle, take a close look at the marks on the side of the deck. Can you read them? Maybe your parents can help you because look, it's starting to say happy birthday four times on the side of the deck. Okay, let me do it again, let me do it again. If I give the cards another happy birthday shuffle, oh, this is a hard one. Oh, I got it, I got it. Take a look. It's now saying happy birthday two times on the side of the deck. But if I give the cards one more happy birthday shuffle, just like this, even though I'm not there, I wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. Oh, but not only that, remember in the beginning they were all mixed up? Well, take a look at the cards now. You know your numbers. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack, Queen, King, all the red cards, all the hearts, all the clubs, all the diamonds, all the spades, every card in perfect order. Oh, but that's not the part that fooled Penn and Teller. The part that fooled Penn and Teller was when I said, what was the name of your card? So I'll ask you, would you say it out loud? What was the name of your card? You said five? Was it a red, hearts? Five of hearts, I heard that. I heard that it's somewhere here in the deck. I won't look for it face up, I'll find it face down. Watch closely if I give the cards one more shuffle. Let's see if we can actually find your birthday card, the Five of Hearts. Anyway, it was fun coming to your birthday party and doing a little magic for you. Right now, want to help me blow out the candles? Here we go. Happy birthday.